So uh, yeah. Steve Austin okay. was pitched a match. It was not Roman Reigns. Let's uh, let's get back into this. It was Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar. Yeah, and um, it's it's not on. I mean, like something can happen now, but um, and I guess this was this was actually um, it was it was um, you know I mean it's been talked about probably for months. You know, because I know that when that that Brock Lesnar Gunther thing came up, I was told immediately that that's not happening or that's not the idea right now. Maybe it's going to happen now, but the idea was something that's a secret. So um, Austin was that secret, and the match is not on, and it looks like it's going to be Lashley and um, you know Lesnar with Lashley, uh, based on the show tonight. I don't have that confirmed that a WrestleMania match. Um, obviously, I, they, will both, they will likely both be in the Rumble and probably feud. And whether that means Montreal, you know, the pay-per-view there, or WrestleMania, I don't know. But it feels like it's probably something to do with WrestleMania. And, um, you know, as far as Roman Reigns, I uh, don't know. Um, but, you know, um, I figured that whatever Roman Reigns' situation will be, we will know on Saturday night uh, based on who wins the Rumble. So, you know, you would look at it and go Sami Zayn and Cody Rhodes as the, you know, um, the top uh, candidates for that. I really can't see anyone else really in that situation right now. I mean, um, you know, if Dwayne wants it, but that seems also to be out. So, um, but yeah, you know, I mean, definitely big, big money offer for Austin and... Um, you know, whatever. Yeah, that's the situation. Well, it seems uh, one would think from watching the the TV, including the trial of Sami Zayn tonight, that uh, it seems like it would be uh, Roman Reigns, Cody, and then uh, Sami and Kevin versus the Usos for the WrestleMania match. But it could be. I guess we'll see. Could be. Could be. I mean, um, the Usos against uh, Roman Reigns and Sami. I mean, um, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn is certainly a match. That's going to happen at some point. Um, and, uh, you know, Cody definitely, uh, you know, talked about, you know, they're they pushing Cody very heavily. It's going to be an interesting thing in Philadelphia um, because, you know, I just remember the last time the Royal Rumble was in Philadelphia, um, they were not happy with the result. And uh, it, it may be that people really want Sami Zayn to win the Royal Rumble. So, I mean, there's ways to get out of it, but I... I hope that they're smart enough to know how to do that. You know, I mean, there's ways to do it, obviously. Um, but if they go in there and uh, uh, put Cody in the wrong situation, uh, maybe maybe it won't it won't matter. You know, maybe the fans will still cheer Cody, but uh, maybe they won't. I don't know. So I put it this way: I would be. I know I would do something to make sure that the fans. You know, I mean essentially have a reason that Sami Zayn's not in the Royal Rumble because if he's in the Royal well, Rumble Well, I think he I think win. the key is the whatever they're going to do with Kevin Owens and yes. and Sami Zayn. I mean, you you have to get the people wanting to see Sami and Kevin win those tag team titles from the Usos. If yes. you can get them wanting that at WrestleMania, they will not turn on whoever wins the Royal Rumble. Yes, if especially you, if it's Cody. If you don't especially do that. Especially if it's Cody. Yeah. Yes, if you if you don't do that or if you wait too long, I mean, you you do really risk that problem. Unless they want to go with Sami, and that wouldn't be bad either. I mean, you could absolutely do that. There's nothing there's nothing wrong with either one of those guys in it. I mean, um so but I think that we're going to have a very clear idea of um, WrestleMania, um, you know, come Saturday night. And uh, Ronda Rousey not in the Royal Rumble, which is interesting. So um, I guess because, you know, whatever whatever the reason is, you know, they got 30 women and she's not, she's not scheduled for the show. So, um, you know, I think that there's probably – I mean – it it makes no sense for her marketability to just have her in there and just, you know, be one of 30. So from that standpoint, I can get it. I, but but um, it is. But that also means that uh, they have a lot of slots to fill. I mean, they've only announced um, a small number of women. I mean, I saw that graphic. It was looking. Like I think it was at eight. Yes. It may be nine now because Emma declared on on uh, social media. Okay. But as of as of this afternoon. I can tell you right now what they've got. 
Uh, for the men, they have Kofi, Santos, Escobar, Ricochet, Austin Theory, Seth Rollins, Bobby Lashley, Corbin, Ray, Gunther, Cody Rhodes, Omos, Drew Sheamus, Braun Strowman, and Karrion Cross. So they have 15 of the 30 for the men announced. And for the women, they have a whopping seven, which includes Emma, Liv, Candice, Rhea, Raquel, Shayna, Zelina, and Emma. That's all we have for the women. And Royal and Rumble. of those seven, um, of those seven announced, can any of them win? Rhea. Rhea. Yeah, Rhea can win. Yeah. Maybe Raquel can also. also. Yeah, the other ones, yeah, Candice LeRae's not winning. Emma's not winning, right? I don't think Emma Zelina. Shayna, Shayna Baszler's not winning. I don't think that would no. be a, a long shot. I at guess best. maybe, maybe Zelina Vega Liv. would be a. It's either Liv or Rhea if this were the Royal Rumble right now, but presumably or Raquel. We'll, or Raquel. We'll add more. I don't know. I don't see her winning the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I don't see it. But Rhea's, Rhea would be the favorite, though. Yeah, of all yep. of them, I would say. I would say. I would say she would definitely be the favorite. Yeah, yeah. So she would probably face uh, Bianca Belair. Poor Steffi. Every time she comes out, she gets poor Steffi. All right. Yeah. Any anyway, she, her and her dad were in the in the ring, and he was oh, going to give gonna her. It's going to be quite a review a, tonight. He was going to give her a trophy for something. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the good old days. And then uh, Shane tells his dad he wants to run Monday Night Raw. <laughs> this is insane. Meanwhile, right. there's gigantic news in the world of wrestling that we're not talking about because we got to talk about a Raw from 25 years ago. Yes, Granny. Can I stay long enough to hear what the news is? I know what it is. Well, we don't know what the news is officially, Granny, so just tune in tomorrow. No. <laughs> what a crummy show. Oh. Wow! What do you want me to do about it? What the? <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.